What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another question. This question is fairly unique. We haven't seen too many like this. So show that dy by dx equals bracket 2a plus 5b, x to the power of 2a plus 5b minus 1, if y is equal to x to the power of 3a plus 3b all over x to the power of a minus 2b, and a and b are integers. So this here, dy by dx is the derivative of this function y here. And we have to show that this is the derivative of that function. Well, notice that <clears throat> y here is two functions in rational form. So looking at it, you may think that you have to use the quotient rule, and you can. However, that's going to take you super long. An easier way to do this is to notice that these two functions on top of each other have the same base x. So you can first simplify those exponents. So here's what I mean by that. x to the power of 3a plus 3b, let's just rewrite this, all over x to the power of a minus 2b. Well, we know in general that if we have two exponents that we are dividing, and they have the same base, so for example, 2 to the power of 8 divided by 2 to the power of 2, well, we just subtract the exponents. That would be 2 to the power of 6. Well, same thing here. We can just take this exponent and subtract it from this one. So we'd have x to the power of 3a plus 3b minus this exponent, a minus 2b. Now you gotta make sure that you put this whole expression in brackets because we're subtracting that whole expression. And then we would have six or x to the power of 3a plus 3b minus a plus 2b. And then notice we can simplify the like terms. So we got these a's here and then we got the b's. So 3a minus a gives us 2a. 3b plus 2b gives us 5b, like that. So this here represents our function y. So this is the same as this function here. So looking at it initially, it may look a little intimidating, but if you realize you have the same bases, you can just simplify that function into this. So now what we gotta do is we got to take this function, let's rewrite it up here, y equals x to the power of 2a plus 5b, and we have to show that the derivative of it is this. So notice how it's x to the power of a number because a and b are integers, and we know that if we have a function x to the power of a constant, let's say m, then the derivative of it we just bring that constant down and then subtract one from the exponent. Same thing here. We're gonna take this whole constant in brackets. So when we're finding the derivative, we're gonna bring it down, 2a plus 5b multiplied by x to the power of that same constant minus one. And notice how that's what we're trying to show. That's the same expression that we have up here. So this here is the derivative of this function. And the way we got it, we first simplified the function before taking the derivative. Once we simplified the function, we just applied the power rule, brought the exponent down, 2a plus 5b in brackets, then subtracted 1 from the exponent. That's the final answer.